Okay, so in this video, we will use term by term differentiation of power series to generate from a known power series new power series. So let's take a very simple example coming from, as we know, the summation formula of a geometric series. So we have 1 over 1 minus x is equal to a series from 0 to infinity of x to the n. Of course, you can get a feeling for what the series looks like by expanding out the first few terms. So you will get 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth. And we know this power series converges only for values of x that lie strictly between negative 1 and 1. So the center of this power series is equal to 0, as you can think of x to the n being x minus 0 all to the n. So the center is equal to 0. And if you think about this from 0 all the way up to 1 and negative 1, well, the distance is 1. So the radius of convergence of the power series is equal to 1. So we now have expressed the function 1 over 1 minus x as a power series with center 0, radius of convergence equal to 1. Let's now use term by term differentiation to generate a power series for the derivative of the function 1, oops, 1 over 1 minus x. So both functions are equal on this open interval, and so we can differentiate both sides. So the derivative of the left-hand side, 1 over 1 minus x, will equal the derivative of the right-hand side. Both functions are equal, it's just a different representation. Well here, don't use the quotient rule to differentiate 1 over 1 minus x. Just think of this simply as 1 minus x to the power of negative 1. So let's differentiate this first. So if you differentiate this by the power rule, you will get negative 1 times 1 minus x to the negative 2. But don't forget the chain rule times the derivative of the inside, which will give you negative 1. That's the derivative of the left-hand side. Well, we know that on the open interval of convergence, the derivative of a power series is simply the series of the individual derivatives. So the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives, the terms being x to the n, to differentiate, of course, x to the n, with respect to x, we use the power rule of differentiation, which will give us simply n, x to the n minus 1. And again, one small observation, when n is 0, the first term of the series is 0. So we can avoid the first term as it is 0, and therefore begin the series at n equals 1. And now we have the derivative of the right-hand side as a power series. What's great is, once again, just as the original power series, this power series has the same center being 0 and the same radius of convergence, being 1. Let's simplify this function. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, and we'll send this down, so we'll have a positive 2 as the exponent. So we'll have 1 over 1 minus x all squared. And this is nothing but this power series on the same open interval. Summing from 1 to infinity, n, x to the n, minus 1. And to get a feeling for what this series may look like, we can expand out the first few terms. When n equals 1, we have 1 times x to the 0, 
x to the 0 is 1, so it's 1, plus when n is 2, 2x, plus when n is 3, 3x squared, plus when n is 4, 4x cubed, and so forth. And so you see, what's nice here is that with the help of term-by-term -term differentiation of power series, from the power series expansion or representation of this simple rational function, we were able to express another simple rational function as a power series. And this is again only valid, of course, on the open interval from negative 1 to 1. So we have represented a new simple rational function as a power series on the same interval. And you could say, well, why stop there? Let's repeat. Here's a simple rational function which equals this power series on the open interval from negative 1 to 1. We can differentiate both sides again. So the derivative of the left-hand side will equal the derivative of the right-hand side. Well, let's differentiate first the left-hand side. Once again, do not use here the quotient rule. Simply rewrite this as 1 minus x to the power of negative 2. So we differentiate this with the power rule and the chain rule, which gives us negative 2, 1 minus x to the negative 3, times by the chain rule, the derivative of 1 minus x, which is negative 1. This will be now the derivative of the right-hand side, but once again, when we differentiate the power series, the derivative of a sum is the sum of the individual derivatives. The terms being n, x to the n minus 1. Well, with respect to x, n is a constant multiple, so it stays there. And of course, to differentiate with respect to x, x to the n minus 1, we use, once again, the power rule. Bring the exponent down, n minus 1, subtract 1 to the exponent, n minus 1 minus 1, n minus 2. Now, one last observation. When n equals 1, notice that the first term of the series is equal to 0. So we can ignore the first term of the series as it is 0, and begin, of course, summing when n equals 2. Let's simplify a little bit the left-hand side. So we have 2 over 1 minus x cubed is equal to series from 2 to infinity n times n minus 1, x to the n minus 2. And as the previous power series, before we differentiate, this power series still has as its center 0, and still has the same radius of convergence. So the equality is valid, once again, on the open interval from negative 1 to 1. And if you wanted to express, not 2 over 1 minus x cubed as a power series, but 1 over 1 minus x cubed as a power series, you could, of course, multiply across by 1 half. So, the simple rational function, 1 over 1 minus x cubed, is equal to as a power series, and of course, if you do 1 half times the power series, 1 half being a constant with respect to n, you can bring the 1 half inside, which will give you the sum from 2 to infinity, n times n minus 1 over 2, times x to the n minus 2. And this is, of course, valid on the open interval from negative 1 to 1. And to get a feeling for what this series may look like, we can expand the first few terms. So when n equals 2, we have 2 times 1 over 2, so it's just 1, x to the 0 is 1, so we get 1, plus, when n equals 3, 3 times 2 over 2, 
gives you 3. 3 minus 2 is 1, so 3x, plus when n is 4, 4 times 3 over 2, but 4 over 2 is 2, so it's 6, times x squared. Let's do one more. When n is 5, 5 times 4 over 2, 4 over 2 is 2 times 5 is 10, x to the 3, and so forth. Of course, on the open interval from negative 1 to 1. So we now have expressed with the help of term by term differentiation this simple rational function as a power series on the open interval from negative 1 to 1. And of course you could keep differentiating as many times as you want and you could therefore express 1 over 1 minus x to the 4 as a power series and so forth. Every time you differentiate you will get the following power of 1 minus x. And this is how, with the help of term by term differentiation, you can start with a given function expressed as a power series to new functions expressed as power series. And of course you can repeat the differentiation process as many times as you want. As every time you differentiate a power series, the center of the power series stays the same, and the radius of convergence stays the same. So this process of differentiation works as many times as you want. And that's it.